places where you want more control of the way a design is split, you can use manual placement of hoops. First, let's look at what will happen with automatic multiple hooping. When I click on this, the software processes the design, splits the designs, and calculates the hoopings. You can see that the software is saying that this is going to take five hoopings. And you may be surprised because you only see three hoops. This is because the software maintains the correct stitching order of the design. Certain objects must stitch after other objects. So even though there are only three hoop positions, there are five hoopings required for this design. So in this case, we may want to try to make some changes to see if we can get the software to split the design in fewer hoopings. I'm going to click Undo, and that will take me back to one hoop. And I also want to go back to the Digitize toolbox so I can watch the Stitch Player. I'll go ahead and hide the hoop for now so we can see the stitch order. And we'll speed this up a bit. So you can see that the white area of the design is stitching first and then the gold, and then the black. So this is going to give you an idea of how the design will stitch out, the order it's stitching out. So it gives you a clue as to how to place the hoops. Let's go back to multi-hooping. And this time we're going to add our own hoops. I'm going to first select the hoop and rotate it, and then move it by clicking and dragging. Now I'm going to add a hoop, and when you choose Add Hoop, it places it in the original position. Let's move this hoop over to cover this area. And you can see how areas turn green when that happens. Then let's add another hoop and let's rotate that hoop. And we'll move this until all areas are green. Now let's click on Calculate Hoopings. I reduced the number of hoopings by one. You can try other arrangements and always remember to click on Calculate Hoopings because that is going to give you information about the number of hoopings. When you are placing hoops manually, it is usually best to create the most overlap as possible. So these two hoops are placed so that there is the greatest overlap in this area. This has a better chance of splitting the design with fewer hoops when the hoops are overlapped. Also, placing the first hoop over the area that stitches first will help you have fewer hoops.